What is up guys, it's your boy Swalam here, back with another classic WoW video for Season of Discovery. Now today I want to talk you, take you guys through my journey to get the epic questline or the epic crafted item. So we'll do this on a step by step basis on what I'm doing to get the item. And we're just going to start. Step number one is to have 100 skill in your desired profession. So tailoring, leatherworking or blacksmithing to craft those epics. When you do the questline you learn the recipe for every single one. So if you have two of them you will still get the recipe for at least two of them right? So you will get the recipe for every single one even if you don't have them. Even as a tailor I got the recipe, recipe for leatherworking. So have 100 skill that is step number one you don't have to do a quest or anything afterwards just have a hundred skill and then find your way to either the auction house or chat up a person with alchemy and you have to buy an elixir this one is called the elixir of coalesced regret i believe it's called and we search that up on the auction house you buy that elixir this is absolutely necessary you only need one of these so if you really want to save some gold then once again you can just hit up someone with alchemy and give them the materials and then they will craft it for you that way you can save some gold if you just want to get this done you would just buy the elixir on the auction house once again you can buy the recipe as well craft Craft it yourself if you want to, or get someone to craft it, but if you just want to get this shit done, then once again, buy the elixir, get the elixir, and keep moving. For step 2, you find your way to Ashenvale through some means, like Ashenvale is a PvP zone, it's gonna be popular, but get your way to Ashenvale. So for step 2, you have to talk to a dead acolyte in Ashenvale, and I'm just gonna show you how I go to him just so you can see which platform it is and absolutely everything. So he's like located at the Sorum Strand on one of these platforms, and this part is very easy. You just have to find this guy, you want to like not be in P any PvP combat or something, you just want to find this guy, be here by yourself, use the potion or the elixir, and that will open up a dialogue. Click on the dialogue, you just click on it twice, get on the last page where you get to this page that I'm showing you right now, get to that page. That's all you have to do. For me, I just read it twice just to like be sure, but you just have to read it once. Just get yourself to this part of the dialogue with the NPC, and if you read everything it tells you, he gives you a clue of where to go, but Wowhead also has a guide, or you can follow the step-by-steps in this video. After talking to this NPC, you are now sent to the raid, to Black Fathom Depths or Deeps. So you want to talk to the second boss inside BFD, or yeah, you want to talk to old Seracus, which is basically a corpse, because he's been killed now. So he's a corpse at the second boss. Basically, he's been chomped down by turtles, and you have to talk to him. He's a corpse, so you can interact with him. The thing is, if you have cleared the raid, that's good, because then you can just go in and talk to Seracus. If you haven't cleared the raid, this means you have to get yourself to the second boss, and then you can talk to Seracus. And if you have cleared the raid, that's perfect, because you have to come back here one more time. So like, you go to the raid, you go out, you go in, you go out, you go in. You have to be here twice, basically. So once again, make your way in. If there are elites here or horde people, just once again, make your way in, do whatever you have to. I just choose to death run in, because there is a ghost rest... Um, there's a ghost rest at the entrance to the raid, so like if you have to die, that's fine. You release spirit, and here we can just release spirit and take the rest of sickness if you have to, and then run in through the portal. It's pretty easy. Once you are inside the rain, you have to find Old Seracus right here, right where you kill the second boss, the turtle itself. You speak to Old Seracus, you, you take the second option, in which case you get a set of scales, or like, yeah, the perfect scales from Seracus basically. So you speak to Seracus, cause Seracus is dead, and apparently Greasy gives you scales, even though once again he's dead. So yes, you loot the scales, and after that you are now sent to Ratchet and you have to like do some stuff at Ratchet at the innkeeper. So I'm just gonna farm some pearls while I'm here to get some gold, or hope to get some gold, and I'll see you guys in Ratchet in just a second. Now before you go to Ratchet, there's a couple of materials you want to have. You want to have 40 strange dust. So if you want disenchant to get these, then go for it. If you want to buy to get these, then get them. 
just find a way to get yourself 40 strange dust and that's what you need like 40 strange dust that is one of the items you'd also have greater magic essence you want to buy those as well you need to have five of those so so far 40 strange dust five greater magic essence and then you also want small glimmering shard you you take two of these so you need to have two of them and overall this is like fairly fairly like not really that expensive and make sure you have five gold in your bag so buy all of these materials that i just showed you and also have five gold in your bag and bring these with you when you go to the ratchet so like if you if you're playing alliance just fly down to beauty bay if you have the beauty bay flight path and then walk or you can fly down up to wetlands take the boat to dust wallow and walk from there when you arrive in Ratchet, you want to find your way all the way to the inn slash innkeeper in Ratchet. You can cheat this by just lo looking for the innkeeper by the searching in at the minimap so you can actually find the innkeeper. But it's located right here. Over here you will have a, what is this called? Like a journeyman, like something, just like this guy. The scholar of exotic um, something, right? Exotic fauna. She will open up a quest to you after you speak to her with the dialogue showing here that you have the materials. And then you can do, do the quest hand in the materials and this, this will give you a trinket that I can't show you right now because my face cam from the stream is also in the way but it's called the shifting scale talisman this will protect you from engulfing shadows or engulfing flame basically that's a mechanic in BFD in the old Seracus room which is probably what Seracus died from so if you try to go to the Seracus room without this trinket you will die but when you have this trinket you will no longer die inside that room you have to loot a crate which once again I will all also show you on the stream just so you have visual confirmation of where to go and what to do. So once again after the ratchet and you've handed in the materials and picked up the quest you're making your way back to BFD just make sure you have the shifting scale talisman trinket first which you get from that quest. So this time when you're in BFD, I would once again recommend to jump into the water, pick up all the clams you can find, and also loot both chests while you're over, over here, just to get some extra gold while you're here anyway. So just swim in the water, look for all of the clams you can find, and open them for a chance at getting pearls, iridescent pearls. After that, go into the Syracuse room, which you will find right here, which is like protected by shadows. And if you go here without the trinket, you will die right about here, start taking a lot of damage. And you can see inside here as well, there are a couple of clams that you can loot for pearls, the iris iridescent pearls. All the way inside this room you will have this box. It's like a container box slash chest and it's called the artisan's chest. Loot this box and you will get like a box that you can see here it's called the box. You just loot the box. That's all you have to do. After this you can either walk out or hearthstone out. Basically just get your way out and now you are going to Hill spread foot hills and that is where the last part is like this is the last part and you will get everything you need after this when you are in Hillsbad Foot Hills, you want to follow the line and go towards Ravenholt. So yeah, go to Ravenholt in every Hill Hillsbad Foot Hills, which has a path up towards Ravenholt, which should be pretty decently marked on the map, it's northeast, basically right north of Durnhold again, like a little bit northwest of Durnhold I believe, and you will have this cave. You go through the cave to, to Ravenholt once again, you can even just google how to get to Ravenholt, it's Ravenholt in Hillsbad Foothills, oh, all the way up here at Ravenholt Manor. You will go behind the manor itself, like not like behind here, but straight ahead where I'm going right now. You will then jump down there, you can see me just walking a little bit back and forth right here but you jump down right here and that's the path like if you go here you jump down right here and that is the path that you're going to walk so you you just get your way here and this will be the last step you don't need to have a group or anything everything is soloable so once again you jump down here and there will be a path to your left so don't jump too far don't fall down go to the path to the left right up here there could be some pvp here hillsprad is a pretty like popular pvp zone and even this is a popular ganking zone even now that this warlock is just busy killing horde people so i was here at the right time like if it was the other way around that would be that would be interesting if Horde was here ganking as well. So I just like summoned everything just here and just buffing myself just in case something interesting happened, right? Just so I'm prepared. 
Now down here you have to bring your box, so I hope you haven't put that in the bank just yet. Bring the box, take a cool screenshot because now you're at the end. You're at the end of the questline, take something cool right here, just memorize your time spent. Now click on your box, this will destroy the box. It will have a cast time destroying the box and you will then get something else. You will get like an epic item basically, you will get this one which you need to have to craft the epic item. And you can only craft one because you get one. Talk to the shadowy figure that actually just spawned behind you. Click on all of the things and make sure you click on the last one. The find whatever will make you shut up, right? If you click on the I don't want anything from you, then you get nothing. But if you click on the right actual thing, then you will get all the recipes, as you can see that I just got. So once again, to play this in slow motion, you will see exactly what I picked up and what I talked to the NPC about, because the last one, the last dialogue, is actually important here. And then you can craft your epics. You can craft your epic boot with tailoring, and I think it's hands with leatherworking, and I don't really know what it is for blacksmithing, but you can craft your epic. So when you're talking to the NPC, once again, make sure you click on Find Show Me if only to stop your prattling on the last one. That's literally the only thing you have to care about here. Everything else is very straightforward. Even that one is very straightforward because if you ask her, like, I don't want anything from you, then obviously she doesn't give you anything. So just make sure to click on the Find part on the last option, the last dialogue, and you are fine. And then you will learn every single recipe for every single profession, even if you don't have them. So hopefully this one shows you like step by step everything you have to do to get the legendary. I just wanted to make my own video on this from my point of view, because I have the, I just called it legendary, didn't I? Well, to be honest, they are quite, they are quite legendary, aren't they? They're really, really good and really, really cool, but this will teach you how to get your epics. So follow these step by step and you'll get your epics. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below. I really, really have been having fun in Season of Discovery so far. It's been really interesting and really fun. And even just doing this epic questline, it is actually epic. And pun intended, like you had to know how to do this. If there's no quest from your class trainer or like profession trainer. You just had to pick up the, the potion and speak to the acolyte. Like, someone had to find that, and then you would have to find to speak to Old Seracus, and then you would have to find out, like, every single part. You had to basically find out on your own, and I think that's so cool. Either way, once again, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe to the channel for more seasonal discovery content. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon. Peace.